this is my 100th YouTube video. So that is very exciting and I can't thank y'all enough for being a part of this and uh, growing this YouTube channel, talking about helicopters. Um, but in this video, I thought it would be relevant to go over a hundred things I've learned or a hundred different lessons learned from my time flying helicopters. Now, I haven't been flying for that long, but I've got some experience and for anyone that is starting their journey or has been through their journey, you may resonate with some of these things. So we are gonna go through those hundred things. I'm gonna keep it quick. Uh, I've broken them down into a couple different sections, but without further ado, let's get into it. Learning how to fly helicopters is extremely hard. If you have a bad instructor, find another one. FAA written tests are not that hard. Flight school will take longer than you want it to. Passing a check ride is literally the greatest feeling in the world. Flight school is extremely expensive, but it's worth every penny. You will meet some of the most amazing people as you go along through flight school. Be a nice person because the helicopter industry is very small. Friends that you meet in flight school may become your boss down the road. Flying becomes very natural after a while. Study hard, it will keep you alive. Educate the public because they know very little about helicopters. Don't be embarrassed to fly a small helicopter. Trust someone when they say they are feeling sick. Your pay and income will be very low for a while. Pressure to get a flight done is very real. Set personal minimums and try to stick to them. You will learn so much by flying by yourself. Night flights can be very dangerous, so do them only when needed. And some people will tip you a lot of money. You will build time very fast as an instructor. Teaching is extremely rewarding. You will not get along with every student. Be patient with your students. Be ready for unexpected student actions. You should enjoy the time you work as a flight instructor. Your student will reflect your actions. Take breaks, it can be very overwhelming. Instructing is dangerous. Instructing will make you an exponentially better pilot. Be careful with tailwinds. Pre-flights are critical. Set the helicopter down if the weather gets bad. Set the helicopter down if you notice something abnormal. Rotor RPM is your life. As you get better, flying becomes more dangerous. Technology is your best friend. Knowledge is just as important as skills. Trust your instincts. Wind is not something to take lightly. Flight school loans are totally worth it. You can make a lot of money in the helicopter industry. Don't look for just the cheapest school, it's not worth it. Buy noise canceling headphones. You don't need an iPad in flight school. Don't try to hit the minimum number of required hours. Check rides are expensive. Don't purchase turbine time. This is an investment in yourself and your future. You can't take money to the grave, but you can take experiences and memories. Check rides are extremely stressful. It's okay to fail a check ride. No one in the industry cares if you fail a check ride. Be prepared to not know things, but be resourceful in knowing how to find the answer. The far aim is your best friend. The DPE is not trying to fail you. Take time to think before you talk. Your instructor will not send you for the check ride if they do not think you are ready. There is no better high in the world than passing a check ride. Shepherd Air is the best resource for written tests. You can learn everything on YouTube. Really understand the FAR aim. Be an expert on how your helicopter works. Know how to read the sectional because they are awesome. FSS or flight service stations are useful. VFR flight plans are not really used. Know how to use your GPS inside and out. You will learn so much more once you are out of flight school. Thunderstorms can pop up extremely fast. The helicopter will spin on icy surfaces. Clouds are closer than they appear. Scud running is not fun. Be respectful of strong winds. Horizontal visibility is crucial. Flying in the winter is awesome because of the performance. Doors off flying in the summer is the best thing in the world. You will become an expert on the weather. 
Air traffic controllers are there to help. Don't be afraid to go into Class Charlie and Class Bravo airports. You will not get in trouble for asking questions. Become proficient with your radio work. Controllers can save your life. Some controllers are just assholes. Ask for clarification if something sounds wrong. Use flight following because they can see aircraft that you cannot see. Go into busy airports. It's a great learning experience. Don't fly into clouds. Watch out for power lines. Say no to certain flights. Stay up to date on crashes and the cause of those crashes. Respect the helicopter. Know the limit of your own skills. Bring more fuel than you need. Land the helicopter in a field if you have to. And think about your family. So 100 lessons that I have learned so far and this is like the guide I would give to myself before starting flight school. Um, it has been an incredible journey. I am still learning every single day. It, it is kind of ridiculous how much you learn on every flight, every single day. You know, I am still on the upward trajectory and I don't know if it ever plateaus. You know, I, th I think you just keep going and I still make constant mistakes. It's really like, you know, you get better and you minimize your mistakes, but I still make mistakes every single day. I'm still learning. Um, I'm trying to get better at this and I'm trying to help everyone else with their journey at the same time. So if you resonate with any of these, let me know down below. Um, if I missed any lessons, let me know what lessons you have learned that you would have liked to see on this list. And maybe a, a, a 10,000 flight hours, I'll make something more with more lessons learned. But I appreciate y'all watching this. Subscribe down below. If you found yourself enjoying this video, like it, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.